fuck. They fuck under a bridge. They fuck under their cars. They fuck everywhere. Welcome back to Dumb and Dumber. I'm dumb. And I'm dumber. So today we're talking about the book Like Water for Chocolate written by Lara Escobar. So basically, the book follows a girl named Tita and her lover Pedro. So basically, Tita's sister Rosada is her mother Elena, which is abusive, forces Rosada and Pedro to get married. Tita does not approve of this and proceeds to love Pedro without anyone else knowing except for them two. Mm -hmm. um, they have a kid named Roberto and he ends up dying. Wait, I don't think okay. we're supposed, think we're supposed all, to go that you guys, far. You, you guys didn't tell us they far. were still in the ranch or not because they weren't there when Roberto died. You gotta tell um, about why, how he died. Oh, he died because Mama Elena sent them away to where did she okay, send them to? Why? Why San Antonio? Mama Elena sent them away because basically she wanted Pedro and T she wanted Pedro to get away from Tito. And during this, Tita went mentally insane to where she met a good man named. Need me a man like Dr. Brown. <laughs> like Dr. John Brown. I mean, I gave, but I mean, it's not I gave me a man like Dr. Brown, John, bro. Like, no, honestly, say, bro. Yeah, need me a man like right, him. focus. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Um, basically, they fall in, not even fall in, like. They, he, they start to like um have connection with each other. They're he like, is the ultimate green flag, okay? He's like the best man. He's perfect for me. So then, um, Tita goes insane and she has to go to a mental hospital, she aka really, Dr. John Brown's house. I was about to say that. She um, doesn't really go to a mental hospital, she goes to John, Dr. Brown's house. Don't look through that! Okay, anyways, um, then Chencha mm -hmm. comes comes to, you know, talk. She has a letter from Gratutis. Gratutis got Ooh. fucked on a horse and was have. sent to a brothel. The reason why is because in this book, when they eat food, Tita's Tita. like this expert cook. Hi, Cammy. Oh, hi. Um, she basically um she made... She makes food and like, I guess like... Her emotions go into, into the food. The food. She was extremely horny while making this rose food, okay? It was like was rose food. Well. No, Gratutis? No. Gratutis, yeah, Gratutis ate it made her horny a soldier the general ended up intercoursing with her on a horse, horse. she got sent to a brothel i imagine it like as a white horse <laughs> i imagine wow. it being a white horse right and um then while chencha is going back she's thinking of a lie to right. tell why she was gone for so long or why she talked to tita mm -hmm. and then some bandits come and they rape Chencha and basically kill they, Mama Elena. Mama Elena gets paralyzed. Yeah, she gets paralyzed. So she can't walk, she can't do sh so, nothing. So Tita has to come back. Tita, Mama Elena is the most abusive parent ever. She turned her daughter into a slave, gave her the love of her life to her mm -hmm. sister. Which is really messed up. She's the messed up human that you could think of, right? She's like a monster. Yeah. Um. She proceeds to... Basically, Mama Tita has to come and she accuses Tita of poisoning, whatever, and um, she dies. Finally, like literally, I was waiting for right? her to die. And in the book, <laughs> the reason why Tita couldn't get married was because she was the youngest and she had to take care of her mother until because she died. it was a family tradition. There's no mom now, so, so she's happy she to do, do whatever. Yeah, and then... Um, Wait, did you guys introduce Soft Brown already? Yeah. And the um, yeah. crazy asylum thing? Yeah. Okay. And then... Um, it turns out that Gertrudis isn't Tita's dad's daughter. Mm -hmm. She had a thing with an African American. Another man. What was his name? I forgot his name. She had an affair. An affair, she yeah. She had an affair. And um, Tita else. finds out because they're preparing the body for the funeral. And, and um, there's like these letters. And photos, I think. There's letters. There's letters. I think they're letters, no? Yeah. That Tita found, yeah, they, Tita they were letters. letters. Yeah. Found yeah. Diary. And diary she found too. a diary and letters. And basically, she found out something about Gertrudis too. You um, already said that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So at the at the funeral, guess who comes back? Don't, Pedro don't, don't. and Rosada. No, not Rosada. No? She didn't come back yet. And yeah, Rosada. I I and basically, he's just put the bat down. 
and basically they fall in, um, they fall back in love, and they are forced to rekindle it. Yay! So nice. Mm -hmm. Talk. What? Talk. Fine. Because I've been doing all the talking. No, I was talking too. Oh, okay. Okay. So basically, they have to do this thing, or no? Basically, they fall back in love, Please. and she's gonna, and she's supposed to marry Doctor John Brown. But she doesn't because she falls in love with. Pedro again. Right? Which they makes sense. If you don't sense. want him, I'll take him. For real, bro. <laughs> I mean, we Who wouldn't gay, take him? I mean, Who wouldn't take you him? You and me, Nelson, huh? Yeah. You ain't gay, but like, yeah. fuck Brown. I mean, I, I need him. Dr. Brown right. is like... So basically... Right. So, um... We left off on... Where, the, where Pedro came back. Yes. Tita calls off the... Or not even... So they announced that they're getting engaged, Dr. John Brown and Tita. Which Dr. then Pedro and Tita proceed to have sexual intercourse for the first time ever mm -hmm. that we know of. Dun, dun, dun. And a lot happens. Yeah. A lot happens. Okay. So they had intercourse for the first time ever. Project. And they, they did it multiple times. Yes. This time, Tita is pregnant. Pedro already has a whole unspoken child with Rosada. Her name is Esperanza. Such a cute name, fuck off. It, it's kind of like giving very much... Main character vibes. No. <laughs> Anyways, um... Stop so, <laughs> Stop recording um, me. Why are you looking at me? Dr. 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 John Brown has a son named Alex. Yes. Alex wanted to marry Esperanza since he was a fucking child. Since he was like five. Esperanza. Because like they're like five. Yeah, right. five so five. basically, um... Grishulis arrives, she's absolutely badass, she's a fucking military soldier, she's a fucking commander, she has men she wrapped has around men. her goddamn finger that I she can kill at any second. Guns, huh? I could, I kind of wish um, I could. And she has this one dude, what's his name? Um, um, isn't he like this, like, soldier? Huh? What? Say it. Ravinho. Oh. Ravinho? Well, she has this guy, absolutely, right? He's like the best soldier she has. He's a white man. <laughs> I'm kidding, he's not white, he's Mexican. Oh, wow, fuck you. Um, anyways. Um, well. You're gonna well, hear me eating in the background. Right, you're gonna need to talk to? Uh -huh. My turn to eat. No, wait. Where would you leave off? The guy who, the absolute badass of a soldier. Oh my fucking god. I'm sorry, so, I read some books, but like, so, my memory is right, so good. So, anyways, there is this prostitute that Gertrude sees. Oh. I and she looks dead. Oh, I remember. Alright, go ahead. You want to do this part? No, you do it. Okay. So, Gertrude is. So, the prostitute told Gertrude um, that there was a guy with like a red birthmark on his crotch or something like that. On his leg, something like that. One of the two. I don't think I was there for that. I don't know where you were. Yeah, between his legs, okay? And know. Katrina's gonna do that because then it would seem like she's trying to seduce them. Yeah. So instead, she sends Tra Travino or whatever it is. And he goes to every brothel in this city. He basically becomes friends with the prostitutes. Like, he reads them poems and he's like a nice guy. Yeah, he's a nice guy. But so he's also like they become friends, and whenever they see him, if, they, if he chooses them, they would call Travino or whatever his name is. One time they did. Um, mid. How do I say this? Mid sexual intercourse, he comes in and he cuts off his fucking balls. When was this? I don't think he, I was there for this. He fucking beat him up and he cut off his balls. Uh huh. Yeah. And they were asking why he did so, like, why he just didn't just shoot him on the spot. No, he did it because. That guy had raped his sister and mother. Oh, okay. So then, um, he's in love with, um, Gertrudis. Like, absolutely in love. But, she's married to another, to the commander who had did stuff to her on a horse. They fucked on a horse. We went over this, right? Oh, yeah. Alright, um, Mama Linda's ghost comes. She, like, does some brujeria shit. And Wait, you're going, like... Yeah, I'm going fast because we have like a couple more minutes left. I would say <laughs> No. Sorry. I, I know. I know. That's why I'm going fast. So she does Blue Hedia. She does a miscarriage. Some fire shit happens. Pedro burns. You burned? He burns. He burns. 
And then it turns out. Um, so then, her, Gucci, no, Rosada and Tita, they were like on good terms because she was overweight and Tita was helping her with her diet. But then they get into a fucking argument about who? Tita. No, Rosada and Tita. So she just leaves and um, they get into an argument. Some fucking weird shit with chicken happens. And we're in the final chapter now, okay? Where are you I'm so. Final chapter. Okay. You want to say this one? I remember. Alright, do you remember? Okay, so Dr. John Brown is getting ready for a wedding. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, go ahead. Okay. So, he and Dr. Brown's <gasps> wedding. Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Genesis! Okay, I'm sorry. So, basically, what happened is Dr. Brown is getting ready for a wedding. Okay? And Dr. Brown's wedding is going to be in Florida. And basically. Oh, my fucking God. So <laughs> All right, they're giving you signs that it's Dr. John Brown's wedding. Like he's getting ready. He's cooking the food. His son is making no, an invitation. No, he's not. He just. Bro, for real. <laughs> so it's giving me signs. This is like 20 years in the future. No, or, 20 years past. No, 20 years forward. Right. So, everyone arrives, they're arriving in nice fancy clothing because it's a wedding, of course. Guess who is getting married? It's not Pedro and Tita. It's not Dr. John Brown and Tita. It's not Tita in general. It's Alex and Esperanza. The, the childhood lovers are finally getting married. And Tita and Pedro are dancing because they have a deal. Gratuitous was... Tita and Pedro were allowed to, you know, be all lovey dovey. Yeah, they were with each other, but like on one condition. Yeah, that um, they were gonna share. They wouldn't fuck. They were, yeah, no, that they didn't. That they didn't get caught. Yeah, so. they didn't get caught. Okay, so yeah, Gertrudis died because of some weird shit. I don't, even, I don't remember how. And we're, and after the wedding, everyone, the food. Uh, remember. There was this food that made everyone, that made people horny. It comes back. Everyone in the wedding Having ate the food. Sex. And everyone leaves ready to fuck. They fuck under a bridge. They fuck on their cars. They fuck everywhere. It's the last two ones there are Pedro and Tita. Mm -hmm. They leave. They go to the dark room. And they start. They start fucking. And and that's how Pedro dies. He dies. Maybe because he was fuck. so heated. Because he was fucking heated. Right. Then, then. Yeah, because it was, it was so good. Because they waited all this time to do it again. I'm going to die. And then. Oh, no, because they could release all of their little. Yeah. They're horny. They're horny. <laughs> and then, um, Tita. So then, Tita. He died. So Tita starts eating candles. She just starts downing candles She's like they're fucking candles. chips. She, she wanted to feel warm again. She wanted to feel hot. She wants to be horny, basically. And she ends up dying. The end. That's the, then, that's the story. But wait, we had to stay that's up and breathe. Oh. Oh. So, wait. So, Tita caught on fire. on fire. The whole house burns down. Esperanza, when did we play? Oh, and Esperanza is making Christmas rolls. No, she didn't, she didn't she go to the school. Oh, yeah. They went to Harvard. I want to fucking go to Harvard. And then the house just burns down. End of story. All right, now the perspective that you can look at it from the story. You can look at it from a feminist perspective, a psychological perspective, any perspective. If you look at it from the feminist, um, you can look at it how women weren't allowed to, you know, if they were if they weren't virgins, they were basically not allowed to get married. If you look at it from the historical one, same thing. Look at it through feminist, gratuitous, being a woman, climbing the ranks of the general, and commanding all these men. If you look at it through a psychological, the psychological views that Tita went through, that... With her mother? With her, yeah. yeah. Alright, so now it's time for our opinions on the book. Mm -hmm. I start, really liked it. I'll, I was gonna say I'll start, but like, okay. You know, it was very, it, it was some beef. It dived a lot into... Psychological abuse, um, how women were treated. Like yeah. Like, what year was it? Like <laughs> it was like <laughs> Sorry. seventeen something. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But like how women were treated and you know all that stuff. <laughs> That's so dumb. All right, go. Um, bro. Go. <laughs> so basically, uh, the book. I don't like. I don't like Tita. 
I genuinely don't like her. I feel like she's dumb. Like, she had everything with Dr. John, and she just left. I need him. Right? <laughs> she just I left. I okay, but, like, it's so brown. Bro, just, like, the bro. Child. Okay, so I just, I'm I think she's really dumb for that. And, like, really like she would really leave Pedro. I mean, she would go up to Pedro, to, like, Dr. And, like, Pedro was, like, a playboy. I know he didn't really love her. What? I know what favorite character was. What? I swear to God, it's Pedro. I swear to God, Nelson. Nelson. How okay, you wait, ultimate I'm favorite? Gonna... Wait, Alex. Oh, okay. Little kid, he was so cute. He was so cool. Oh, okay. Why do you think little kids are cool? There are. Like, I don't know why. Like, I want to be a little kid again. Shut up, you too. I want to be a little kid again. Shut up. Okay. Like, I, I want to be like, my opinion. Oh, so, right. basically, I rate the book like a, a four out of ten. I gave it a seven no, out of ten. No, actually, wait, no, no. I think it was More like sexy would have been amazing. Bro, stop with the sex. She's I'm, kidding. I'm kidding, Ms. Alkins. Ms. Alkins, I'm kidding. Okay, my opinions, um, I don't know, my opinions on the book, I liked it, but I feel like it was, like, very, um, sexual. And I don't like sexual things. It was very slow. It was slow paced. But I like This how could have been a six, seven chapter book, at max. No, I like how, like, Tita would, like, the food, oh, and, like, the food. her feelings. The food is I like cool. how she like, like the magic her food. feelings. Like that's really cool. Yeah, pretty cool. The All right. Magic word. What I recommend this book. No, no, Fuck no. no. Sure. Um, it depends. It depends. If you are into magical realism, if you want to learn about Mexican yeah, history Mexican and how people were treated in Mexico, then yeah. But if you just want a book to read, I would not recommend it. I I, I was forced to read this book. Thank you, Ms. Alvarez. Um, Thank you. It was alright. So basically, um. I like the book, but like, I don't really like the sexual parts. I feel like it's a little weird. Um, for me personally, I don't like sex. I just found it weird. Um, but I think like if you're mature enough to read it, then like you yeah, go for it. No, you're fucking not. Yes, no, I, not. No, you're I am mature. Not. <laughs> no, you're not. No, I said you're fucking not. Literally. Um, I just yeah. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Well, thank you for listening to this 15 minute podcast on the book. We have Tammy here. Oh. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. What are your final thoughts? Final thoughts? Uh, I need a man like Dr. Brown Jones. Wait, final thoughts? You're... I'm disappointed in you guys. <laughs> final thoughts, Cammy? Uh, I need a man like Dr. Brown John for real, for real. Please! <laughs> Alright. The sheer disappointment in these two is unimaginable. Bro, shut right. up! We did good. We did good. Mostly good. announcement. Genesis said alright. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. 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 Bye.